We accept the reality of the world in which we are presented. It's as simple as that. In each of us, there is another whom we do not know. Did you know that the first matrix was designed to be a perfect human world? Where, no, where none suffered, where everyone would be happy, it was a disaster. No one would accept the program. Entire crops were lost. Some believed that we lacked the programming language to describe your perfect world. But I believe that as a species, human beings define their reality through their misery and suffering. So the perfect world was a dream that your primitive cerebrum kept trying to wake up from. Pale Ebenezer thought it wrong to fight, but Roaring Bill, who killed him, thought it right. Is race a fundamental difference between people or is it a social construct? We talk incessantly about race and identity, but what about culture? What about values? Are these not aspects of our humanity that transcend race? Reasons for God. Objective truth. If truth exists independent of human minds, how does such truth exist? Based on the dictates of evolutionary biology, our ability to comprehend a truth should really be no more than our ability to think whatever is most evolutionary beneficial for us and our genetic descendants. Morality. What is morality without a baseline assumption that human beings have inherent worth? Even with utilitarian philosophies, you can't determine the greatest good for the greatest number without determining the greatest good. And that has moral premises that have to be assumed. The belief in any moral oughts require us to believe unprovable truths that must descend from outside ourselves. Choice. We live as though we believe in choice, as though we are capable of making decisions that in some way are based on our own will. What in materialism would allow for such a choice? Where would such a choice come from? If we are just balls of meat wandering around, how exactly do we make choices? God is necessary for these thoughts, or at least the possibility of God. If you discard God altogether, you can't explain why you believe in objective truth, morality, or even your own ability to choose. The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled.